What is up guys, my name is Camden and today we are back working on uh, my 1991 Mazda Miata here and unfortunately we've sprung a leak. Um, as you may be able to tell we got some cardboard under there. Um, got a little leak, I think there might be a couple of different ones unfortunately. Um, but one of them I'm pretty sure is the slave. Um, so today we're going to replace the slave, we've been leaking a little bit of clutch fluid and the uh the clutch has a little bit of uh of dead space and it. it's getting a little bit bigger so we're going to replace the clutch or the slave um so first we gotta jack up the car so let's do that All right, next we gotta take off this wheel here because the slave is uh, right in there. Uh, 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 it's somewhere in there, I promise. All right, so now we gotta take off the tire here, or the wheel. Just gotta loosen these up. All right, got those out. I love how light Miata wheels are. Just lift that out right there. Boom. All right, so here we are. The slave is right back in there. I believe it's two 12s, and then it comes off. So it's right, right there. So I've seen a lot of people say that you need to uh, to empty this out too, uh, first, the, the master cylinder for the clutch. Um, so we're gonna use this turkey baster here, empty some of that out, and uh, and then get on our way to removing the slave. So now that the slave, the master has been emptied, we should be able to get a 12 down here to get these two bolts off there. And then you can take that line off and it should just pop right out. So let's see if we can get a 12 back there. All right, I got a 12 right here. Let's make sure that it works. Hey, fits like a glove. Okay, 12 mil, let's get those off. So as you can see here, we got the old slave out, and it looks obviously super gunky. Um, I'm hoping that this is what was leaking. There might have been something else, but uh, there's not much gunk above it, so I'm pretty sure it was this, or I'm certainly hoping at least. Um, so it looks pretty bad right there too. So let's get the new one and uh, put it in there. The new slave, it looks much nicer. Not as gunky, obviously. And we got this little, this little actuator thing here. It works. All right, so I've found that it's kind of easier to go under the car to get the bolt in. So we got the bottom bolt in for the new uh, slave. So we should be able to put the line in and the top bolt, and we should be good to go. All right, so we finally got the new slave cylinder on. The line was being a pain, it just did not want to screw in, but we finally got it. So you can see it back in there, right there. That little shiny thing's the uh, the bleeder valve. Um, so what we're gonna do is put some new uh, brake fluid in there, um, pump up the clutch and bleed it out, and hopefully uh, we can get it working. A dot three brake fluid here. Um, so let's pour that in there. And then, uh, and then get to bleeding. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. Oh, it's gonna be so difficult. Oh god. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right, so we finally got the new slave on and we got it bled. And I think that it's working. There's still the same dead space that's in the top, um, but there's no air in there. I, at least I think, but as you can see, we got that in there, got the line tightened and got it bled. Um, so to bleed it, what I did was I had my brother pump the clutch five times, or five to ten times, hold it down, and then I opened the bleeder valve right there, uh, let some air out, let some of the air out, and then closed it again. Um, so it seemed to work pretty well. Um, I'm about to take it off the jack stands and we can actually see. But as you can see, feels pretty good. It feels exactly the same as it did. There's still that same dead space in the top. Um, but 
it should be working. Sorry for the noise. This may be a short video, um, but I hope you uh, hope you liked it. Hope you learned something, and uh, I will see you next time.